What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do a reading for Gemini. Since it's Gemini season, what's up, Gemini gang? Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, and we're going to tap in, okay? All right, Gemini, what's going on with y'all, okay? What's the message for my Gemini spirit? Let's see. We got abandonment issues. The first part out. So, Gemini, either this is you or this is the person that you're dealing with. Abandonment issue. Take it as it resonates because my readings are vice versa. Um, I, I speak according to the cards that come out, but it could be you that I'm talking about or it could be the other person. But we have abandonment issue out here. So, somebody has abandonment issues. There could be a level of codependency in regards to a certain situation. Uh, somebody here has a fear of being left alone. Um, could be due to parent, parents or if you are a parent, maybe your children feel like that about you. But I don't really um, read for kids. So I feel like that could be you or the person that you're dealing with with these abandonment issues. Yeah, spiritual assassin. Yeah, this is somebody who like, threatens you if you decide if you try to leave them spiritual assassin with abandonment issue this is somebody who try to like break you down or make you feel guilty for wanting to leave them or something yeah and then we got fallen angel and earth angel so yeah one of you are of the light the other one of you are is of the dark and that's not necessarily a bad thing but it's just like one of you are trying to heal and be of a higher vibration and other of you, the other person is just sitting in darkness. They're sitting in the devil's energy. Um, so it's like a push and pull with this relationship. You know, you can't find an equal balance or an equilibrium because it's like you're on two different sides with this person. But I feel like whoever is in this devil energy, the devil energy can speak to codependency. I mean, fallen angel does speak to somebody who has fell from grace too. So this may be somebody who's sitting in the devil energy because they feel like they don't know how to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? And so with the devil energy being here and this person sitting in that energy, it's like somebody out here, whoever this is in this devil energy, they have abandonment issues. Spiritual assassin, this is somebody who will threaten you if you try to leave them or no, you can't go or no, like da da or, you know, try to like reverse psychology and make you feel bad for wanting to leave, for wanting to do better, for wanting to get your shit together, like. Yeah, and then we got the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So somebody out here is focused on their money. You know, maybe somebody's just focusing on their money. Or Gemini, you could be focusing on your money to ignore this person. Yeah, because you may feel like somebody is like kind of delusional. Or it's just like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? Like, I can't leave you. Like, I can do what the fuck I want to do type shit. I don't know, Gemini. This is already coming out weird. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, I definitely feel like you could be spirit experiencing some sort of spiritual attack right now, uh, Gemini, with that spiritual assassin. It's like somebody's like trying to come for you or people are trying to come for you. I don't know what this is. Let's see. But this could be like the person that you're dating trying to come for you or throw shots at you or throw shade. Like, what the fuck is happening here, Gemini? Give me messages here, Gemini. Yeah, we got hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So, yeah, it's just like somebody out here keeps trying to work on a relationship and it's just not working. You know what I'm saying it's like one person is in the devil energy trying to hold on, trying to keep fixing it, trying to, you know, and then you got somebody out here that's trying to sabotage the situation. I feel like whoever's trying to sabotage this situation, I feel like they're doing it on purpose. Like Gemini, you or whoever this person is that you're dating, it's like somebody purposely does shit to fuck this relationship up because they want to leave. 
But the other person is like, no, like, don't leave me. You can't go. Or they guilt trip somebody for making them want, for making, they guilt trip somebody, make them feel bad for wanting to leave or wanting to break up or wanting to separate. So it's just like this repetitive cycle. Then it says interrogation out here. So somebody is constantly being questioned, like, where you been? What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Da, da, da. Like, ooh. It says, heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfect. But it's like somebody feels like when, when, when you're together, you know, you can feel like this person has your heart or has the keys to your heart. It's like when you and this person are together, it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like somebody, it's like somebody doesn't trust somebody here. There's abandonment issues, codependency like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, and one night stand. Yeah, so, uh, Gemini, you could be, you're in a situation with somebody, and it's like somebody feels like an option here. It's like somebody is in a relationship, but it's like one-sided. It's like, it's two people together here, right? And it's like one person feels like, well, this is my person. They got my heart. They got the key to my heart. I know this is the one for me, but it's unhealthy. Somebody out here is codependent on this situation because they have abandonment issues that they need to work on. Second of all, whoever this person is that they're trying to hold on to, this person is toxic and this person also treats them like an option. It's just like this person is just like convenient for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like when they ain't got nobody else to entertain or ain't nobody else paying their ass no attention. It's like they stick with you, Gemini. It's like you're their last resort, their last option. Like somebody's like stringing you along or you're the one doing this shit. It says camera reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Yeah, but it's like somebody's keep somebody keeps reminiscing on how this relationship used to be. Somebody's holding on to the idea of how this relationship was when it started, where it was real cute, where it was real sweet, it was real loving, it was real exciting, the sex was bomb. But now it's like a lot of shit has happened. You know, motherfuckers masking came off. You're seeing a motherfucker for who they truly are. And it's just like somebody here is really toxic and they got issues. Like real shit. And it's like somebody out here keeps working on this situation or keep trying to work on this situation with this person but it's not working it's just a repetitive cycle you break up to make up you 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 separate from each other and then you miss each other and you're aware of all the issues and the problems and shit and then you think to yourself you reminisce on how good it used to be like maybe we can get back to that place if we ju can just keep working at it maybe we can get back to that same uh beginning of the relationship how it was where it was all sweet and you know that you know that beginning stages of the relationship where you feel all you know like lovey-dovey and shit somebody wants to wants to get this relationship back to where it was in the beginning but that's not gonna work here somebody need, got some issues that need to be addressed before any type of healing can take place here First of all, somebody needs to learn how to let go. Whoever got these abandonment issues, they need to work on that shit. Like, you can't just hold on to somewhere out of fear of being alone, you know, in hopes that, you know, you can just keep working on something and something's going to come back and something's going to come back around. Like, no, there's no. It's like when you're with this person, it feels good. But it's just like when this person is gone, it's like somebody's abandonment issues get the best of them. Yeah, two of pentacles. And it's somebody's juggling out here. Keys on a ring. Somebody's making you an option or this is you making somebody else an option. It's like somebody's okay with being on somebody's roster. Let's see, Gemini. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, Tower. Epiphany, Revelation, Shocking Event, Upheaval.
or or Gemini, you could have been, if you're a Gemini female, you could have been dealing with a masculine energy who was doing this shit. Somebody who has abandonment issues, somebody that doesn't like to be alone, somebody who is like threatening you, making you feel bad if you leave them and shit, treating you like an option and shit. And some of you were like, yeah, fuck this, like Queen of Pentacles energy. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to do my own thing. Some of you Geminis are wine drinkers. Some of you Geminis can have locks. I'm also channeling Gemini with like short hair. Like I'm getting like finger waves or a pixie cut or something. Oh, let's see, Gemini. What is this? There's somebody here definitely has a fear of being alone, but I don't know if this is you or if this is this other person. But it's just like at the same time, it's like they don't know how to treat people. How are you scared to be alone, but then when you get somebody, you mistreat them? Like... Yeah, we got seven of swords. Oh, man. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but seven of swords here. Somebody's being sneaky. Somebody's being conniving, strategic. Somebody's being a liar, a fraud, and a con. Somebody here cannot be trusted. Real shit. But I feel like it's like somebody's trying to sneak away. Because look, in this seven of swords, it looks like somebody's after her. You know what I'm saying? You see these figures down here in the corner? It's like they're getting ready to come up the steps and she's like hiding from them. She doesn't want them to see her or to catch up with her and shit. So it's like somebody's trying to get out of a situation or sneak away from a situation or be strategic on how to like get away from somebody. Yeah, three of pentacles reversed. Because for, for some of you, this could have been a third party situation at one point. Um, but it's just not working here. Something is not working. Seven of swords with the three of pentacles reversed. Something here some plan or some plan or something that somebody had it didn't go in their favor because three of pentacles reverse is people who don't know how to get along you know what i'm saying for some of you this could be like i don't know why i'm channeling like polygamy or something so yeah this could be a polygamous relationship that's going south like you got multiple people in a relationship but somebody here it's like a couple of people here feeling like an option. Motherfuckers feeling like one person is getting more attention than the other. Some type of weird shit. That's not going to be for everybody, but I did pick that up. But three of pentacles reverse is people who don't know how to get along. You know, somebody who doesn't understand how to work well with others. You know, how to share, how to how to take turns and shit. Like, this is it's not working here. Yeah, nine of cups. So somebody out here could definitely be a drinker. Drinking a lot of wine with this Queen of Pentacles and a Nine of Cups. And look, he's holding a wine bottle in his hand. So yeah, some of y'all are drinking wine. Or somebody here likes to drink wine. But um, or it don't have to be wine. You could just be a drinker, period. But anyway, yeah, Nine of Cups. Yeah, like Nine of Cups is like happy. You know what I'm saying? Nine of Cups is like getting what you want, emotional fulfillment. Um, this is also a card of like being single though too. So this is somebody who's supposed to be in a relationship, but it's like Nine of Cups. They act like they're single. You know what I'm saying? It's like the other person doesn't exist. But it's because something didn't work out here. Somebody, something was somebody here was cheating with the seven of swords and the three of pentacles reverse. But it's like whoever this nine of cups person is, it's like they're sneaky, they're a liar, they cheat, they hide, they calculating, all this type of shit. But it's just like, and ain't no motherfuckers are not getting along with the three of pentacles reverse or something here is not working. But it's just like they don't care because they're still getting their needs met with the nine of cups. Yeah, seven of, seven of wands on the bottom of the deck is like, no, like somebody is setting up boundaries and shit. Somebody's like, no, absolutely not. You will not. Like, this is a no. Seven of Wands is a no. This is standing up for yourself, protecting your energy, telling somebody to get back, go away, stop calling me. Or Gemini, this could have been this could be somebody that you left. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Swords reverse. You could be dealing with somebody who has some sort of mental illness. 
Yeah, these are this is this is somebody who's in denial that they have an issue or a problem. It's like they don't think like they have abandonment issues, but they don't think it's anything wrong with how they try to hang on to this situation. It's like somebody doesn't want to let something go here, even though they get treated terribly. They get treated like an option. This shit ain't working. Three of Pentacles, motherfuckers don't get along. Motherfuckers always lying, cheating, sneaking, doing all type of weird shit. Somebody out here acting like they single. It's like somebody doesn't want to be bothered. It's like, no, get back, stay away. Don't. Somebody's trying to create boundaries. It's like, stop calling me so much. But it's like somebody else is just like they don't they don't care about that. They don't care about you not wanting to talk to them, not wanting to be with them. Like they're just still like lots oh, of seven of swords here. Yeah, look at that. Somebody's getting pissed off because somebody's trying to create boundaries or trying to or telling them no and shit. Because the two of cups is out here. So it's like somebody still feels like this is the perfect connection. Like we're in love. We're perfect for each other. We're equally yoked. This was meant to be. But it's just like resentment here with the nine of wands reverse because I don't think somebody wants this connection anymore. Somebody still wants this connection. The other person doesn't. The other person is like, no, I want to move on with my life. Seven of wands, get back. Stop calling me no more. Let's create boundaries. Let's create distance. Like, and somebody here is like, no. Why is the nine of wands reverse? It's like somebody here is getting pissed off. Because somebody doesn't want to keep working on this shit. It's just like, it's not working. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Like, how many times do I got to tell you that? This shit is not working anymore. And you keep wanting to try. You keep calling me. You keep, you just keep on. Like, whoa, how many, like, like, how do I got to spell it for you? Like, no. <laughs> God damn, Gemini. What the fuck is going on here? How's the nine of wands here? Nine of Wands reverses the wounded warrior. Somebody who's giving up. They're exa exhausted. They're weary. They're tired. Somebody who's resentful. Somebody who holds grudges. Have an attitude problem. Irritated. Annoyed. Bothered. But it's because like they still feel the two of cups with somebody that's rejecting them. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands. It's like somebody here is still turned on. They still want the person. They still feel like this is meant to be like, you know, there's, they feel like it's still passion here. It's still, but somebody is like giving them resistance. It's like, no, like, I don't want to have sex with you. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to talk to you that much. Or it's just a flat out no with the seven of wands. It's like, no, go away. I don't want what you offering. Like. This feels like harassment. It's like somebody here is just like somebody wants to just completely fucking give up because it's shit not working and somebody else wants to keep working on this. And it's like the person who wants to keep working on this is getting pissed off because the other person is not cooperating. Because you can't force nobody or make nobody try to work on a relationship or stay with you or be with you or any of that. I'm the ace of wands here. seven of cups here it's a reality check motherfuckers is not wearing rose colored glasses in this relationship anymore for some of you this could be a pisces with the seven of cups reverse it's just like the reality of it is like you just won't cooperate or it could be a pisces out here that's seeing you for who you are gemini But then I also feel like even though somebody doesn't want to work on a relationship anymore with the Three of Pentacles, they don't want to work on a relationship 
But they still may be open to fucking with that ace of wands of right. It's like, nah, we don't work together well in a relationship. But if you want to fuck, you can call me type shit. But it's just like, and this person may accept that because I feel like somebody out here got low self-esteem. So it's just like, okay, you don't want to work on a relationship no more, but you, I mean, do you want to have sex? And somebody's like, yeah, we can do that. And then somebody, you fuck this person or you have sex with this person. And then somebody takes that as we're working on this again. It's like, no, like, didn't I just tell you, like, we're not working on no fucking relationship. This is just sex. Like, what's the, somebody out here ain't understanding the concept why is the seven of cups reverse? What the fuck? Woo. Seven of cups reverse. Yeah, page of pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody out here plays too many games. This is somebody who plays too much. Like, you can't take them serious at all. Like real shit. It's just like. Why oh, is the three of pentacles reverse? Yeah, we got a queen of wands upright. So some of you can be dealing with a, a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you can have fire in your chart. That's the Queen of Wands here. And if somebody is in a relationship they're not happy in, they be acting like they single and shit because the person that they're with is delusional and refuse to leave them. It's just like, it's a queen of wands out here that this person is attracted to. But I don't feel like this queen of wands is giving them the time of day. Whoever this masculine energy is in this situation, the queen of wands ain't paying his ass no attention. Like, because you, you play too much with the uh, page of pentacles reverse. Like, you're childish. Like, no. Get the fuck on. Yeah, eight of wands reverse. Yeah, this queen of wands could have blocked somebody. Or this is you blocking this person because it's just like, you just don't get it. Yeah, it's somebody here, ten of wands reverse. Somebody's like, this shit is not my problem no more and I don't care. Get somebody else to do it. Yeah, so somebody stood their ground. I feel like this queen of wands is very direct, very to the point, very like, this is what it is, this is what it ain't. Like, get the fuck on somewhere. But I feel like it got to the point where somebody had to block somebody because this, this feels like harassment. It's almost just like, God damn, like how many times I got to tell your ass to leave me the fuck alone? Like, go be with your bitch. Go be with that bitch that's in love with you type shit. Mm -mm. That's the channel on reverse. Yeah, two of wands reverse. Yeah, somebody out here chose the wrong path. Why's the uh, two of wands reverse? Somebody made the wrong choice and made the wrong decision. Yeah, and somebody freed themselves from this shit. They're like, I'm getting the fuck away from this shit as fast as I can. Definitely Aries energy out here with the fool and the queen of wands. So you can be dealing with the Aries. Off the food car, but somebody freed themselves from this shit. This is just like this shit is just not working. Like this is too much. It's it's too burdensome. It's too problematic. Motherfuckers ain't getting along. Motherfuckers being sneaky. Motherfuckers lying, playing games, and just this is just too. This is too weird. Like why is the food car here? Yeah, ten of swords, and somebody feels betrayed by that. I told you somebody got abandonment issues. So it's like as soon as somebody freed themselves and leave. Somebody else feels like it's the end of the fucking world. Like, that's a tennis out here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. There's been a shift and a change here. Wheel of Fortune, this shit is going to end whether somebody likes it or not. Like, there, this is a karmic relationship that a lesson was meant to be learned. The lesson has been learned 
on somebody's end. I don't know if it's your end, Gemini, or the other person's end, but the lesson has been learned with the Wheel of Fortune upright. So it causes a shift, a change. Like real shit. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody feels abandoned. Five of pentacles, somebody feels abandoned, left alone, rejected. Man, somebody doesn't understand that this relationship was just supposed to be a lesson. This was never supposed to be something that was long term. And somebody out here tried to drag it out through all the cheating, all the lying, um, all the all the being treated like an option and all this type of shit in hopes that this person would change. They'll wake up and see their worth. But that's not how it works. You don't stick with somebody that's dogging you out in hopes that they'll see your worth. They better know your fucking worth before you even get involved with them like this. Because now somebody here feels like rejected, alone, abandoned. Like, I don't know. Like, somebody wouldn't want them and shit. That's the Page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Page of Swords. Somebody spying and watching and shit. What's the Page of Swords? Yeah, on the power front. So, I mean, it definitely could be a third-party situation here because I feel a lot of energies out here. It's a queen of wands out here. Whoever this masculine energy is, I feel like they're showing up as the page of pentacles reverse. It's like somebody knew that they could have had... Yeah, look at that. King of swords on the bottom of the deck. So, it's some lion-ass... Uh, Gemini men out here, um, just lying, detached, bitter, uh, mean, vengeful, just a straight up asshole. Some of these Gemini men out here are some straight up assholes. It's just like some wrong they ass too. Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, it's a Gemini man out here that didn't fail from grace. He's a loser. He's an attention whore, a clout chaser jealous spirited um always lying king of swords reverse uh verbally abusive likes to throw shade like shady like bitch made like this is a grown ass man who always being petty always throwing shade at other people especially whoever this queen of wands is that stood up for herself and left this motherfucker behind he definitely feels some type of way about that but then he got somebody out here who who still is in love with him to a cup who still feels like this is his perfect match they're meant to be together but he's not interested in this woman who still wants him he doesn't want this woman who still wants him he wants the other one who ain't paying his ass no attention and i feel like that other woman that ain't paying his ass no attention she's done like she's just like uh-uh get somebody else to do it I give zero fucks. Nine of swords reverse. Like, I don't care. Like, she recognized that this person is a loser. Yeah, six of wands reverse. Some, there's somebody with a bad reputation that could be known for being a whore. Or they could be known for, like, getting into it with women and shit. Like, it's just like, who the fuck would want to be in a relationship with you? Yeah, I feel like I feel like this this was emphasis. This is like I feel like this was past tense, a third party situation. I don't feel like the third party situation is active anymore because I feel like somebody woke the fuck up and was like, Fool car, I don't want no parts of this. I'm freeing myself, I'm finna go. So this once upon a time was a third party situation, but it's not anymore. One of the parties excused themselves from this shit. And now the masculine energy is upset, bitter, jealous, vengeful, and the other feminine energy that was involved in this shit, she's still in love. Like, well, we can still make it work with just the two of us. And he looking at her like, bitch, shut the fuck up. We ain't making shit work. Because he's mad because this Queen of Wands, like, turned him down or rejected him. Lots well, of nine of cups here. Somebody is like happily sing single and standing their ground and sticking to their boundaries. Mm-hmm. With the seven of wands, somebody embossed up out here with the emperor. 
heavy on the Aries energy. Somebody bossed up out here. Like, it's just like, nah, I'm better off single. I'm happy by myself. I'm doing the damn thing, setting boundaries. Like, can't nobody fuck with me. What's the emperor here? Yeah, two of pentacles. Or this is somebody who acts like they're single. You know, because usually, usually the emperor is a married man. The emperor with the nine of cups is like a married man who acts single. Like he's juggling two of pentacles, like doing what the fuck he want to do. Yeah, but this is how he really is. The king of swords reverse. So this is somebody who likes to show up as a good partner, a good husband, a good man and shit. But behind closed doors, they're juggling. They're selfish. They can have a drinking problem. King of swords, they're a liar. Yeah, and somebody's just ignoring this person. Look at that. You see that? It's like somebody keeps trying to reach out to this person who's like protecting their peace. I feel like who this masculine energy is, they have somebody at home, somebody who's codependent on them, somebody who wants to continuously keep working on this relationship. But it's just like this masculine energy doesn't want to keep working on this shit, but they don't have a boss to tell her. So they're somewhere keep trying to reach out to some feminine energy, this queen of wands or whoever the fuck this is that's ignoring him. Somebody that he's extremely attracted to, but she's not paying his ass no attention. Seven of wands, the four of swords, she ignores this person. It's like a masculine energy who keeps trying to cheat, but he keeps getting rejected. But the woman he got at home, he don't want her. <laughs> like, the fuck? Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got the Queen of Pentacles out here twice and she's in the upright. So it's just like, I feel like this masculine energy is stuck with some delusional mental female who keeps wanting to keep working on a relationship with him. And baby, we can fix this. We supposed to be together. We supposed to be meant to be. Whole time, this man somewhere is cheating or trying to cheat. He got a queen of wands out here and a queen of pentacles out here that he keeps trying to reach out to and neither one of them are paying his ass no attention because i feel like they already know what's up it's like nigga we know you a cheater we know you a liar we know you married we know you got that crazy bitch at home like or something here it's just like bro nobody is interested in you nobody wants to get involved in this mess i feel shit it's a queen of pentacles out here. It's a Capricorn tur uh Capricorn towards Virgo female that's definitely like absolutely the fuck not. Or that's you. You can have Earth in your chart, Gemini, but you're like absolutely the fuck not. No. Get the fuck away from it from me with that weird ass shit. Queen of Pentacles with the seven of wands. Yeah, this is like somebody, somebody's man out here keeps trying to cheat and it's not working. He keep getting rejected. It's like he's trying to cheat with bitches who know they worth. It's just like, no, like you got the right one for that whole ass shit that you be doing. You got the right dummy to be doing the shit that you're doing, but you're not going to do that shit over here. You got a queen of wands upright, a queen of pentacles upright, a queen of cups upright. These people that this man keeps trying, this masculine energy keeps trying to approach, they're not interested. Four of cups, they keep rejecting his offer, turning him down. They're like, no, go away. So I don't know if they've, I mean, the six of wands reverse can indicate like uh, a fucked up reputation. So it's just like people don't want nothing to do with him, at least not no real bitch. The only people who want to fuck with him is like bitches that obviously is something wrong with their ass. Because it's just like, what the fuck? Like, no. And get somebody else to do it. But it's still, it's one bitch out here that just keeps holding on hope that this situation going to turn around. Gemini is going to fall in love with them again. Like, no. This Gemini man out here. He likes to put on like he's a good man, but he really on some other shit behind the scenes. But he's not getting what he wants. Like, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, Page of Cups reverse. They know this person is emotionally immature. It's like nobody wants to be bothered with this shit. Like, real shit. Yeah, this person is annoying. They're a nuisance. 
Yeah, five of wands. So this person comes with drama. They come with chaos, conflict. And again, like this could be a man who's known to be jealous of a woman or something. Yeah, King of Wands reverse. Told you this man is in a relationship. Or he's trying, he he didn't move on with somebody else who's like extremely codependent on him. Somebody who suffers from abandonment issues and refuses to leave him. And so it's like a rebellious energy out here. It's just like he can't get away from this crazy, like codependent ass bitch that he got at home. So it's like he's just outside, like roaming around trying to find anybody, anybody that'll take him other than this bitch. And it's not working. King of Wands reverse. Some of you just could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Yeah, what's that? Knight of Cups reverse. Is it a Knight of Cups or a Page of Cups? No, that's the Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah. It's King of Wands reverse. This is somebody who's aggressive, insecure, somebody who's a liar, love bomb. Like, oh my God, just terrible. Yeah, look at this. Hey, man, this person feels stuck. Or this is a Pisces. It's like somebody feels stuck because this crazy ass bitch will just not let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just refuse to let it go. Like, they tried to break up with this person. The relationship just went fucking left. Oh, and somebody's trying to move on with their life, but it's not working. Yeah, three of swords. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting disappointed and rejected. Eight of pentacles with a nine of, yeah. Somebody here is like, no. That's the four of here. But it's like, this person keeps trying to disturb somebody's peace, though. Yeah, it's just like they keep trying to bother somebody that doesn't want them around. For some of you, this could be a Virgo that's bothering you. It's like somebody just won't leave you the fuck alone. It's like, damn, don't you got a crazy bitch at home? Don't you got somebody that you with or you're married to? Like, why the fuck do you keep bothering me? I don't know. This is weird ass reading. I'm the hermit reverse. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Somebody's waiting on a message, waiting on a call back. Like, they're not going to get it. Three of Wands. Somebody didn't turn their back. They left. It's just like, you're not going to get a call back from me. Like, the fuck? Yeah, Ten of Cups reverse. This person's in an unhappy marriage, a loveless marriage, an unhappy relationship. Like, motherfuckers are not fucking with you, bro. Like, people know that you're married. We know that you're unhappy. We know that that bitch is crazy. But look, that's your problem. You got to figure that shit out, bro. Like, nobody is interested in being involved in that shit. Period. Anyway, Gemini, this has been a read-in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.